Get the camera thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> say welcome to the video. Nope. Mm -mm. Choking hazard. Here's your mermaid. Here. I feel like kids or babies and toddlers routines always changing and the same thing doesn't always work as it once did and you're always having to switch things up to accommodate and <laughs> switch things up because the same things weren't working as they once did. Um, <laughs> Abby's always been a very good sleeper but out of the blue. She just started going to sleep really late, like 10, 30, 11 almost. And I was like, what is going on? So we switched up her routine. So I just wanted to share with you guys what has been working for us. And hopefully it will work for you too. Abby is now 19 months old. Are you doing the bear's makeup? But now that uh, this routine that we've been doing, she's been going to bed between 8 and 8.30. You like this new routine we do? get enough sleep at night because that's my like main concern i just want to make sure that she's sleeping enough at night and when she was going to bed so late <laughs> oh shit no disgust <laughs> also when you're a parent you want your children to go to sleep so you can get you time do you know what you time is no but i get it when you go night night right and i can have me time! <laughs> when you go night night, right? <laughs> so, hopefully, this routine will help you guys out, and your little one will start going to sleep on time, too. Routine is so, so, so important, but you just have to find the right one to do for your little one, right? And daylight saving time is coming up soon, so I'm like, oh crap. Hopefully, we can adjust to that easily. Okay, so we just had dinner a little while ago, and now we're just hanging out, and I will give Abby her bottle a little bit, because I've been doing no sugar close to bedtime. <laughs> and I know milk does have a little sugar in it, and for some reason, when I was giving her her bottle, she was getting so much energy after it, that I'm like, okay. I'm moving up your bottle and then I'm moving up your bottle and see if that will help at all. So we'll sit down and we'll give you your milk, watch a little TV and relax. I do like, I like this brand period, but I really like this milk, but that's hard to come by sometimes. So when I find it, I like grab a few of those. Okay, so Abby just finished her bottle. What time is it, Abs? Usually she has it a little bit earlier. But she's done with it, so now we will just hang out and watch a little bit of TV together. And she'll play and she'll run around and burn out her energy. You gonna play and run around now? So let's play until bath time. Play. <laughs> Abby's been loving this mermaid. She picked it at Home Goods all by herself. She, oh, she loves these dolls with like the yarn hair. Obsessed. But this one seems to be her favorite one. I think this might be the toy that she carries around everywhere with her. Okay, so I just laid everything out before I give Abby a bath. So I will pick out her pajamas, put her nighttime diaper out. This is Honest. Excuse me, Rocky. This is Honest Company. Yes, Evs. And I love these nighttime diapers. These are the only ones that we've used, and they are great. Um, Hello Bella, also a very good company. And this is their Sweet Dreams Lotion. And anything lavender scent is really good. Also, I've been really, really liking this stuff by, by Zarbies. It's Calming Massaging Balm. So, either one of these we will use. And then... These diaper rash creams are very good too. 
So I have it all laid out here, ready to go for after her bath and to change her into. All right, Abs, let's go to take a bath. Okay, the bathroom fan in here is loud as anything, so hopefully you can hear me. Um, this is the shampoo and body wash for Abby. It's a Sweet Dreams one, and this is the Honest Truly Calming Bubble Bath. But they also make a bubble bath too, but I just used that all up, so then I ordered the Honest. And then there's this too that we used all up. It's this soak and sleep infused with lavender essential oil. So pretty much just the lavender you want to make sure because that's going to relax them and get them ready for bed. Okay, so she's got her pajamas on. Now she's going to brush her teeth. I want this focus. <laughs> Dancing to brush your teeth. Here you go. Get it, girl. This is her absolute favorite book. We always end uh, the readings we do with this book. And uh, I will help her to brush her teeth to make sure we get them all really good. <coughs> Say, we've been brushing my gum slash teeth since I was a teeny weeny baby. Hey, Dabby. Say, healthy teeth and gums are important. All right, so I'm gonna help her brush her teeth good now. Okay, so now after brushing her teeth, I'll throw a blanket in the dryer while we read her a book. So let that warm up so it's nice and cozy for her. Okay, so I have my pile of books right here. She goes through these all day, so she takes them all off the shelf. That's why they're just thrown there like that. But I have my pile of books right here that we're gonna read for the night. And she has her pacifier that I'm trying to wean her off of. So I don't give it to her during the day anymore. She only gets it for nap time and bedtime. I don't know how I'm gonna get her to sleep without it. Um, I guess I'm gonna try to start cutting them and hopefully she, hopefully she won't like them anymore. So we'll see how that goes, but I haven't started that yet. But we've been doing good throughout the day with them. You ready to read your books, Abs? Wanna read your books? currently 8.33 right now. I have Abby on my phone monitor and she fell asleep about like 10 minutes ago. So like 8.20ish, she fell asleep. So now I just let the dogs out one last time for the night. So just to quickly add, Zarbies does have this bedtime calming lavender spray that you would spray their room with or their bed before you put them in there. carry this around with me while I get things done really quickly and then I will head back upstairs and I will watch some TV and have some me time. Also, just in case you guys were wondering, Alex is on nights right now. Like every other month, he switches from days to nights. So he works 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. So... That's why I'm by myself. But if he's home and he's on days or days off, um, then we will watch a Netflix show or do something together when Abby goes to bed. Honestly, I think having a little bit of me time makes you a uh, better parent because like you like hit the reset button and you're just like able to have a moment to yourself. <laughs> so I'm so glad that this routine has worked for us and she's going to bed on time and she's getting the rest that she needs so I hope that this helps for you guys I know I'm not a sleep specialist or anything but this routine has been working for us so I share it with you guys in case it'll help you too and of course if you needed to make some adjustments or anything but just to give you the idea of what we've been doing Alright, so I'm going to go relax now and 
get ready for bed myself. And thank you guys so much for watching this video.